Behold, a gray whale dropping a major deuce. And that is a team of marine ecologists from Oregon State University. They spend their summers in boats like these, watching the Pacific Coast feeding aggregation, a group of 200 to 300 gray whales that travels up the Pacific Coast to arrive in Oregon come June to feed. When the team is lucky, a whale takes a dump close enough for them to catch it. Like any attentive pet owner, they're sure to scoop it right up. The animal's feces informs scientists about the whale's diets, fertility levels, and even their gender. Poop can also indicate whether the animals are stressed. Boat traffic has increased along this coastline over time, which means more noise and potential collisions between vessels and whales. Levels of stress hormones found in whale poop are one indication of how the animals are faring. But whale poop isn't exactly easy to collect. Luckily, Dr. Lee Torres, who leads these research efforts, has been sampling whale poop since 1996 and studying this particular group of whales since 2015. When one of the animals poops, her team must act fast. It's pretty exciting when they do have it, those defecant sinks rather quickly, so we have to be quick to get there. Their breath smells a lot worse than their poop, so. <laughs> Torres and her team will capture whale poop using nets and collect a small sample into a sterile jar. From there, the poop goes into a cooler before getting frozen once the team is back at the lab. In addition to whale poop, drones have helped Torres' team monitor the cetacean's behaviors. The team can watch the whales from above, whether they're doing headstands or feeding their young. Whale defecation, however, is rare. Most poops aren't as big as this one, and they're all different colors and textures depending on what kind of whale lets it rip. Because, well, they all eat different things. Blue whales shit orangey red because they eat krill. Torres believes gray whale poop varies throughout the year as the animals' diets shift between small crustaceans like mices and amphipods, crab larvae, and maybe even small fish. The team needs to study more poop, but one thing's for sure, these whales are eating well.